Oh man, no ho. Oh man, no ho. Oh man, no ho. Oh man, no ho. Hi my friend, welcome to my channel. I'm Valia, and today I'll be showing you the classic brown mochiai with a nude lip. This is the makeup look I'm wearing now. And this makeup look is very, very wearable for all of you, for every skin type, but you can wear it especially from the afternoon till evening. And uh, it's very easy to do it, so especially if you are a beginner. So let's get into this video to show you how great that look. I have done my brows, as always, off camera with my 17 Real Brown 06 Long Stay Eyebrow Shaper. And this is it. Then, I prepared my lid with my Fit Me Maybelline in the shade 20 by um, Maybelline New York. And then I set up my lid with my Greasy Makeup Max Compact Powder in the number 3. And now, I'm ready to move on to wear my shadows. For today, I'll be using my lovely uh, affordable Revolution palette, Velvet Rose. And this is it. This is my lovely palette that has only all of uh, brown and warm undertone colors, and that they are all of them from the lighter to the darkest. Because today I'll be showing you the classic brown smoky eyes with nude lips. So let's move on. Taking this brush, and I'm gonna take to do my crease this. A uh, light uh, yellow, orange, very light color to do all over the crease. Beginning from that. Then continue with this on the edge and undertone darker in the same color, a little bright brown orange uh, color. And my eyebrow 104 and applying it on all over, of course, the lid and the crease on all over the eye. Continue with this brush and another brown shadow more darker than the other two. And this fluffy big brush and apply it and this on all over the eye. As you see, my eye is getting darker with any shadow I'm wearing, I'm applying and blending. And of course, the last step is to take this flat but fluffy brush and take this on the uh, middle, very dark brown color and we will apply it starting from the lid. And then I will blend all the shadows together. This is the darkest brown. I'm gonna use. Apply it on the lid for the first. And I'm going to continue with the other eye and all the same uh, shadow. Taking the first, the lighter, to apply it on all over the lid and on the crease and on over the eye. I'm going to apply underneath my brows my Face Studio Chrome by Maybelline in the state 100 Molt, molt and Gold Metallic Highlighter and my Eyebrow 103 and I'm going to apply it underneath my brows now to give a little highlight on this area before I move on. And now I'm going to wear uh, my black liner. I prefer to use for today black liner. I thought I could use my brown, but uh, it will have a very good um, look if I use the blackest black I have. Also, you can wear a brown, but I believe this uh, will give 
a very nice nice and look the black color let's see And now I'm ready to move on, after my eyeliner, I'm ready to move on to wear uh, my full glass. For today, I'll wear this full glass. And now, after I wear my glass, I'm going to move on to prep the rest of my face. So, I'm using my face studio prime protecting primer with SPF 30 by Maybelline, which is my favorite hydrating primer. And I'm going to apply it on all over the face with my hands, finger, very nice smell this highlighter, and you see every product I'm wearing, I'm applying it, and my primer, and my foundation now, and down on my neck to have the best effect. And of course, taking for today, my Usnas Complete Cover and my Mia Forever Lasting Performance, Mia Milano, these are the two of my favorite foundations. And my Kabuki Brush by Iber 07, and I will apply the two lovely foundations I have on my face. And I'll continue with my concealer by Catrice True Skin High Cover Concealer with Aluronic Acid in the shade 032 Network Biscuit applied underneath my eyes near to my nose near to my mouth and on the bridge of my nose and taking my Beauty Blender to apply the product and now, I'm going to set up my under eyes with my Sabrina press powder, Sabrina Rudnick. I'm going to set up my under eyes. And of course, with my eyebrow 11, I'm going to set up my whole face with the same powder. Because you can use any powder you want. I really love that Sabrina Rudin powder. It's very nice to apply, very blendable. Now, now I'm going to take my Scandal Color Marker palette, 01, and I will take this on the edge, brown, um, brown, brown, uh, brown tan, to apply it on the thick. On the forehead, and of course, on the no line. Taking this brush to contour a few my nose with my bronzer, small brush, of course. Then I'll use my eyebrow loose powder and my this to apply a few of that to bake under my eyes for a few minutes just a few minutes and of course under my bronzer my nose is almost ready A few browner and to contour my lips. From the same palette, I will use uh, my pink rose with my eyebrow 11, of course. Then I'm gonna end with my under eye, under eye area. We'll apply all the shadows we applied uh, before on above the eye. Down. Uh, let's see, let's see. Yes. All the same shadows.
And on the end, I will apply my matte chrome highlighter on the inner corner. Now I'll take what? I'll take what? Ah, oh, my mascara. My 17 Glam Perfect Definition Exfol Mascara to apply on my upper lashes. And of course, a few, as I have told you many times, on my bottom lashes. A few products. Of course, inside my borderline, I will apply a black liner. Now, I will wipe away the excess powder. Continuing with my lip. I will line my lips with my Air Woman lip liner in the shade 006. I'm gonna apply my Yabaolian 05 uh, classic brown nude lipstick and above that I will apply my lip gloss in the shade nude lip 30 by Colourpop and of course I will end up with my setting spray by Fiore Vita Makeup Fixing Spray to set my fourth look and this is my friend my complete finished look I hope you like that look do you like that video if you like it give it some thumbs up leave a comment below don't forget to subscribe if you haven't and ring the notification bell and stay tuned to see the new videos I'm gonna upload love you